Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. I've got a cleaning marathon video for you guys. I've decided to go ahead and take a few of my past videos, kind of get them all mushed together to give you a whole bunch of cleaning motivation. I think today's video is going to be about maybe two hours long. I've always loved watching other people's marathon videos for cleaning because either I will put it on and then just go and start cleaning myself or I will just sit and relax and watch everything they do and get some ideas for next time when I want to clean or something like that. But I've got so much footage, you guys. It's just a waste. Like, if you are not familiar with my channel, if this is like one of the first times you've ever seen one of my videos, first and foremost, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. But I went ahead and decided to go through and kind of take like some videos from a few months back. Some are from last summer. Some are from the fall. Um, some are more recent. But I wanted to go ahead and put them all together and just make one nice, great, big cleaning marathon video for you guys. I enjoy them. I hope you guys enjoy them too. I think I've only ever done one other cleaning marathon video on my channel. So I decided that because I'm going to be doing this today and I also just kind of wanted to do a thank you, like a give back for all of your guys' support. I cannot thank you enough for all of the support that you guys give me here and on Instagram as well as over on the vlog channel. I've had a ton of new followers over on the vlog channel. If you haven't checked that out, it's in the description box. Go and check that out there. I did my first um, foodie Friday the other day and it was so much fun. I cannot wait to do the next one. I think one of the next ones is going to be like a bunch of like fall dips or like small little meal ideas because I want to do something related to like football and things like that and I have a bunch of good ideas. So make sure you tune in for those. Those are going to be every Friday on the vlog channel. But I wanted to go ahead and do a little giveaway for you guys for tuning in and watching today. So what I'm going to be doing is I will sprinkle throughout the video some Halloween pictures and they will be kind of overlaid. You'll know it when you see it. And if you can, let me know how many pictures that you saw in this video. Just leave your number guess in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and choose a winner for a $50 Amazon gift card. It's not a lot, but it's what I can do. And just a little thank you to you guys. You can use it for Christmas. You can use it for yourself however you want to use it but I'm gonna have this run through October 30th and then on October 31st I will choose a winner and I'm just excited to do this for you guys because you guys do so much for me again I cannot say enough of how grateful I am for each and every one of you but I'm gonna go ahead and start to sprinkle some of those little Halloween photos throughout the video now I promise I'm gonna be back to talk to you guys more I really want to do more talking throughout this video just in case you have this playing in the background and you're cleaning along I have had some people say that they would prefer to hear more talking because if they wanted to listen to music while they cleaned they would just turn on their own music and I totally get that but this video is going to be chock full full of motivation. I've got a kitchen deep clean in here, a bathroom deep clean in here. So much stuff for you guys to get motivated with, but I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of music now, but I'll be back and we will talk more about the giveaway. Oh, Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest So speaking of Halloween, I just wanted to see if you guys do follow me on Instagram and if you saw 
Bodie's little Halloween. I know that everybody has been doing like this little trend with getting their dogs dressed up in sheets like little ghosts and goblins and it's the cutest thing ever. But what I did not let you guys know in the Instagram post is that that took me like seven pepperonis to get him to sit still long enough for me to put that little sheet over his head and sit long enough for me to take a picture but it's the cutest thing ever but I was also saying that our leaves have not turned yet like they have in some places but not like in my backyard so that's really where I wanted to take the picture where everything's like all really rustic and spooky like with the orange and red and brown leaves and stuff like that but everything's still pretty much green around my house at this time so I still wanted to get a picture and then I also wanted to go ahead and get some practice in because I know I'm going to be doing that again when the colors do change so that way he's going to be used to it and he's not going to be like girl what are you doing but yeah that took me seven pepperonis and it's so funny because I can get pretty good pictures like when I do do my lord when I do his um birthday pictures like with the little hats on his head or things like that I'm always using treats of some sort and Reuben is always amazed he's like how do you get him to do that I'm like if you don't know Bodie um, if not all Labradors are extremely food driven so if you have any kind of food in your hand they will do pretty much what you want them to do but Bodie's um, his like he doesn't he's not gonna pay attention for very long I don't know what I'm trying to say but his, uh, you know, attention span, that's it. It doesn't last very long. So either you give him that treat and you figure out how to get that picture done right or you're not going to get it at all. But he's gotten uh, really, really good with let me do all that kind of stuff with him. It's just the funniest thing ever. And I did find a really cute costume. Sometimes it's hard for me to find anything like out in the stores. I have to like order stuff for him because he's so large. But uh, I think it was in Big Lots. I had seen... It was like a blue and white jersey. Um, and I think the back of it just had like double zeros. And it said snack receiver, I think is what it was. It was really funny. But I also thought it was cute because everybody in this house is, I say everybody, but Reuben and his family, they're all cowboy fans. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. Like that would be the perfect thing. And Reuben's like, that's yeah, just a waste of money. And I was like, you know what? It probably is. So I didn't get it, but it also had like really cute bandanas with it. I think one looked like a football and one was like green and white that looked like a football field. But you know, a sheet that I already had that was all stained up. All I had to do was just cut some holes in it and there you go. He's a cute little goblin. But I'm also interested to know if you guys dress your pets up for Halloween too. I know that there are some that are like die hard. They have outfits for every single season. But he's just, I mean, he'll let me do something for a minute, but that's about it. And I don't want to, you know, really irritate him as long as I can get a picture of it uh, to keep. I think that's funny. And also, I really, 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 like really bad when I have a Halloween party, like where everybody dresses up. I used to do those all the time and they were so much fun. Um, I'm not saying that Reuben is not fun. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is he doesn't want to do it and it makes me sad. <laughs> so <laughs> if you guys ever see him out and about somewhere, tell him how much fun it's going to be because I need to do it. Like I used to have Halloween parties and I'm like, if you're not dressed, you can't come in. And I would literally make people leave. Like it was just, it's one of those things. You just, I mean, it doesn't matter how old you are. Just have some fun sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want to do like a themed Halloween like couples costume I don't know what I would do yet but I would figure it out actually I have thought about it that's a lie so I think maybe if Reuben would ever agree to it I want to be Ricky and Lucy because I think that would be just like perfectly fitting because he's Hispanic and I'm just a loud mouth whiny girl so I think it would be hilarious, but getting him to do it is going to be another thing. Um, also, let me know if you guys like to dress up for Halloween too, so I can live vicariously through you guys, because I can pretty much guarantee that's never going to happen. I mean, I can dress up, yeah, but Ruben's not going to, and that just takes all the fun out of it. So most of the time, I will get one of my girlfriends, usually Corinne, and we will go out to a party somewhere, and we will dress up together, and that just fulfills my Halloween needs. But I really want Ruben to do it, so I don't know. Maybe one year I'll talk him into it, but until then... I'll just have to live through you guys and I would love for you to tell me what kind of costumes that you guys have done. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make 
like you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking So as I was going through some of these videos to try and figure out which of them that I wanted to upload for this marathon, I really wanted to do some of the really old videos that I had just in case some of you guys are new and you haven't gone back to watch some of the ones from years back. But I have a new external hard drive and I lost a whole lot of my videos from the past so I wasn't able to do that. But I do like to go sometimes like through my YouTube and watch some of my old stuff and I'm like, girl what were you doing? But I like to see like all of the changes and not only with myself, but like how small Bodie was and just the changes like of the house, like the furniture and things like that. It's just really neat to go back and look at stuff like that because sometimes I forget that these kitchen cabinets were not always white and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful that I did that. Um, but yeah, it's just really neat to go back and take a look at some, some things from the olden days, but I was also still thinking about Halloween. Sorry, but you know, we're in that, in that time frame. Uh, the only thing now living in the neighborhood that we live in is we get no trick-or-treaters because of the way that our street is kind of like off a really busy intersection. The only kids that we have are the ones that are here in the neighborhood. And to be honest with you, that's just like four or five. And I think with the way that things are nowadays, they don't just like go and knock door to door anymore like we used to. Like, I don't know, they have like big trunk or treats or they have them like at big facilities like the malls and stuff like that, which is fine. But that's just kind of like not how I grew up and my kids didn't even grow up like that. So I really do miss like handing out candy to all the little trick or treaters and seeing all of their little costumes and all the first timers and how cute they were. It just takes me back to when the boys were little and it just, I don't know. I really wish that my kids were little again because I had so much fun doing that. And, um, just trying to think of like all of the Halloween costumes that the boys had. Nine times out of ten, Logan wanted to be Scream. Um, Brayden wanted to be a ninja a lot of the times. Uh, they weren't really out of the box. Like, I don't know. I do remember, okay, so Logan was born on October 22nd. So his very first Halloween, and I still have this. If I can find it, I will try to find it and show you guys on Instagram or maybe in a future video, but I, I do have it saved. So he was home for his very first Halloween. Obviously, he was a little itty baby. He was just a few days old, but I took a white long-sleeved onesie 
and it had long pants, so I don't know, it was like long johns, like a one a onesie long john, I reckon, and I took some like puffy paint, like um, that was in the tube, and I made the front of it, I put little lapels, I painted little lapels on it, and I painted a little belt, and I took rhinestones, and I put it down the front and along the waist, um, like a belt, and then I found the smallest little cape and cut the bottom off to make it like wee wee tiny. And in rhinestones, I put a big E on the back of it. And he was Elvis. And he was the cutest little thing I swear I have ever seen in my entire life. And um, Brayden's first Halloween because he was born on Christmas Day. So the following year, he was Santa Claus for Halloween. It, they were just the cutest things ever. Oh, how I wish I could go back to those days. And it's funny because when... I get with either one of the boys, Logan or Brayden. They are both like very nostalgic, just like I am. And I'm so glad that they are like that because every time we get together, they're always like, do you remember when, do you remember this? Do you remember that? And we always talk about stuff. I think that's why I hoard so many things of them from when they were little is because I always like to pull stuff out and talk about it and like, just, you know, look at stuff because I don't have anything of mine, um, like that from when I was little, but they're very nostalgic and they love to look at things and we love to talk about things. A lot of times they now like to be like, hey mom, guess what I did that you never knew about, but I'm going to tell you about it now so I can't get in trouble. They like to do that to me and it gives me a, a freaking heart attack. If I were to tell you some of the things that my kids did while I was at work or something like that, you would be like, how do you even have children? <laughs> oh, boys, I tell you. Um, but yeah, I just, I miss being able to see all the trick-or-treaters because we don't get any and it's just sad. So I really do like to look on Facebook and Instagram, um, not to be weird or a creep or anything like that, but I like to see all of everybody else's kids and grandkids and what they dressed up as and all of the fun that they had. But I also used to do Logan's birthday parties, kind of Halloween themed. We would do like bobbing for apples and stuff like that. And it used to always still be so super nice outside for his birthday. I think up until probably from when he was like three or four I don't know, three or four, I think up until he was about 12 years old, every single year we got one of those huge bounce houses in the backyard. And the weather was so stinking nice here in Virginia, still in October, that they could get out there and jump around and get all sweaty and stuff. And it wasn't hot and it wasn't cold, but we always had a really good time. Um, and as far as Brayden, if you're concerned about that, Brayden has never had an issue with his birthday being on Christmas. And I just think it's really neat. As long as he gets gifts and a cookie cake, He's cool with it. Um, I did one year try to do their birthday together and they both agreed. Yeah, no, that's no. So I said, okay, <laughs> we won't do that again. Um, I tried to do it, I think like in November, like in the middle of both of the birthdays and they weren't having it. And I was like, that's fine. Um, but yeah, we, we saw a fun for Braden's birthday and he's, uh, it's just like now that it, they've gotten so much older, like Logan's going to be 25 in October. Brayden will be 24 this year. And it's just hard. Like I've gotten to the point where I'm like, do you want money like to pay your bills or something like that? Like for Christmas and their birthdays. And Logan's just so easygoing. He's just, he's almost hard to buy for because he's like, mom, I don't need anything. Just save your money. Obviously I'm not going to do that. So it's hard to try to like find something for him to you know, really surprise him. He's always grateful for whatever he gets, but it's, it's getting kind of difficult to find things for him. Brayden, on the other hand, I always know what he's getting. Um, I'm not going to say it because he does watch these videos and I already know what he's getting for Christmas. He's already gotten his birthday gift. We've already discussed that. We recently just went to the beach and we both got tattoos and that was his birthday gift and he was cool with that. So he's just getting Christmas this year, but I already know what I'm getting him and I think he's going to like it. I think he'll really enjoy what he gets for Christmas this year. But yeah, I really don't know. Like the rest of my list is still blank. I don't know what to get my parents. I don't know what to get Reuben. I don't know what to get Reuben's mom, his sister. I told him both. Um, we were in the car the other night. We were going to eat dinner and Reuben's mom and sister were in the car with us. And I was like, what do y'all want for Christmas? And if you don't tell me, you're just both going to get coal. And they just laughed. And I'm like, you think it's funny, but I'm serious. <laughs> I need ideas. Um, do you guys ever have that issue? Like what, what to get people? And if so, what, what is your go-to? Like, what is your, your fallback? Do you do like pajamas? Do you do gift cards? I really don't like doing gift cards because I feel like they're so impersonal. 
but sometimes that's just how it goes because there are people in our family that are like, I would rather have that so I can go get exactly what I want instead of getting something and having to return it, which I respect that. I'm kind of that way myself sometimes, but I, for Christmas, I'll tell y'all in case, you know, you were wondering, I want to get a new iPad. I want one of the bigger iPads that way I can travel with it because when my laptop went out, and I needed to get a new, I'm so sorry, I just smacked my mouth, and I, I know people, that irritates people, I apologize, but when my laptop went out, and I needed a new computer, I decided not to get a laptop, I got my iMac, which I absolutely love, and I wouldn't trade it for the world, but I do realize that now, like when I'm on trips, or something like that, it would kind of be a lot easier to have a laptop of sorts, but I think I want the new, or maybe not the new, but a bigger iPad. I think I want to do that. I think that would also help me with some of my things for the podcast because sometimes when I'm out and about or like if I'm at my mom's or like my lunch break at work or something, I'll have ideas and I want to start like typing stuff out for the podcast and I think it would just be a lot nicer. Could I do it on my phone? Yeah, probably. But is it a pain in the butt? Yep. Um, so that's what I'm going to ask uh, Ruby Claws for, for Christmas. I also need some new clothes. So there's that. So if you, if you see Santa Claus, let him know that's what I want. And I have been a very, very, very good girl this year. So that should not be a problem. I'm laying down at the compiling. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you Yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You got all your secrets I can seem to move So I kind of did just want to sit and talk for a second about something that has changed with my channel. If you guys have not noticed that yet, I have changed the name of my channel. Now, I think I did switch it to Hey, It's Mandy about three, maybe four years ago, about probably somewhere in between there. I can't remember exactly when. And at the time, as with now, I still have, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just make videos and put them up here for you guys to watch. Um... But I thought maybe that if I changed it and kind of added something to it to make viewers that have not been here or seen any of my videos um, kind of know what this channel is about, I thought that maybe that would, you know, just help get these videos out there and be seen. So I wanted to niche it down, not just hates me, because I did used to do like a lot of different videos here on the channel. And now all I'm doing here is cleaning. Anything else will be in my vlog channel. You guys know that. But 
let me know if you have um, noticed the name change. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I did keep the profile picture the same just in case people were like, what is that? I didn't subscribe to them. I don't know who that is or what that is, but probably within the next month or so, I'll go ahead and switch over the profile picture um, because hopefully you guys will already be used to it. It does obviously have the name in it and um, my Instagram. Now that changed as well. So it did change to Mandy Flores and hopefully you guys that follow me, you will have noticed that as well. But speaking of Instagram, I posted a little while back that I wanted to have some questions that way I can do kind of like a little Q&A on this video to take up some of the space from so much music and maybe just have a little bit of fun with it. So you guys really did give me some good questions and I'm going to go ahead and start with this one and it is what's your wish list items in your future new home? Now you would think because of how much I complained that I would have a long list, but I really don't. <laughs> um, the one thing that I honestly would wish for first and foremost is storage space. We have no storage space and I have gotten rid of so much stuff and Ruben has too. I just need more space. So closet space, cabinet space, a bigger kitchen, um, new floor. Well, not new floors. They would be new already, but I really do want like the hardwood floors, but like the tile, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Just to me, I think obviously with Bodhi, it, it would just be a lot easier for me to keep clean. I honestly do think that carpets and rugs and curtains and things like that just really hold on to odor. And I think it would just be so much easier to keep all of that stuff clean and just, I don't know, it would just be so much nicer. And again, just storage, just a whole, whole lot of storage. That's really, really really what I want. Um, those honestly are just like the only thing that I would look forward to. My next question is what's your favorite and least favorite thing to clean? Honestly, laundry is my least favorite. I don't mind like doing the whole washer dryer type thing because that's just simple, but the folding and the hanging up and the putting away of clothes, not my jam. My favorite thing to clean, I think would be the kitchen. I don't know why. I just feel like when the kitchen's clean, you just feel like everything else is clean. And also when I do some good deep cleaning, like the satisfaction of a good deep clean is very, very, very much at the top of my list. Another good question that I got was, how do you manage working and doing YouTube? That's a hard one because I don't really think that I manage it that well. I just stay afloat. I think that if I really sat down and made like a good strong list and a good schedule that I could probably do things a whole lot easier for myself and it would just be nicer. But I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Things happen to me on a daily basis that are not controlled and not planned and it totally just throws everything else for a loop. So like this video that I'm doing now, I wanted to have it done on Sunday, but things happened and I was not able to do that. So I have to take any chance and any time that I have available to do that and you know, just get things up when I can. My I strive for two videos a week and I think I do pretty good at that, but I still haven't been able to get it to where I can actually schedule them and have them up on a specific day. Like I can't sit here and say, I'm going to have a video for you guys on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I can't promise that. I don't know what's going to happen between now and then. Like when we have month end at work, sometimes I'm there until like, you know, six or seven at night. And by the time I get home, I do not want to film. I do not want to edit. It's just, you know, I have other things to do at home that I've got to do. So if you guys didn't already know that, I do work outside of the house. I know I say that all the time and y'all are probably sick of hearing me say it, but it just kind of, you know, puts a limit on when I can record, when I can edit and things like that, because I've got to go to sleep at some point in time. Um, but I try to do my very best. And the other thing that kind of gets in the way of that is, I think I've mentioned this too, our house just does not get dirty enough for me to clean to make a video like three times a week. It's just me and Ruben. It's the same exact messes over and over again. And I know if I just keep doing the same video of the same mess, then y'all are going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to watch that next one because it's just going to be the same thing. So I try to wait until I have some like different things come up that I want to do, like a deep clean or organizing or, you know, just like the new faucet that I just did, things like that. I try to save and make good videos out of it. But again, I don't honestly think I have anything managed. I think I'm just um, surviving at this point. 
Next is what's your favorite food and places you've visited. Honestly, I could eat pizza and tacos every single day of my natural born life and I would not be upset about it. Also, I loved mashed potatoes. Anything that has to do with a potato, any way it's made, I'll eat it. And also eggs, any way that eggs are made. I'll eat them that way too. Um, it's so basic, but I'm just honestly like an old country meat and potatoes kind of gal and I could eat it all the time. Like I could eat meatloaf and spaghetti and just all kinds of different stuff. Just your basic foods. That's, that's me. I'm pretty basic. Um, favorite place that I have visited. So it was probably, I don't know, like six years ago, six, seven years ago. That's sad that I can't even remember that. Um, but Ruben and I went on a cruise. We did the whole, you know, Jamaica thing. And honestly, that was the best thing ever. I'm really trying to talk him into letting us, not letting us, I don't even know why I said that. Um, talking him into doing a, another trip. I don't want to do a cruise this time. I enjoyed the cruise, but I would much rather like fly out to the destination and stay there. But I want to do Turks and Caicos so bad. I cannot even stand it. So if you guys have done that trip, if you've been to Turks and Caicos, please let me know. Please tell me how much you loved it. If you didn't love it, don't tell me. Don't bust my bubble. Just let me find out on my own. Um, and any excursions, anything that you guys did, please tell me. Because in my heart of hearts, that is going to happen before I die. I want to go. If anybody wants to go with me, holler at your girl. Another question that I have is, what is your dream job? And I know this sounds so cliche, but honestly... If I could do YouTube like full time all the time, that would be just the most exceptional thing that I could do. Like I would just love to do this all the time. I think honestly, now don't get me wrong. I love my job. So if anybody at my job hears this, don't get me wrong. I love my job. I, I really, really do. But if I didn't have that job, I feel like I could put like a lot more time and effort into my channel and my videos. Not that I don't already do that, but I just don't feel like I'm able to give 100%. And that's something that I want to do because I've said it a million times. I've met some of the most amazing people through this channel and through YouTube and Instagram that I'm, I'm so eternally grateful for the friendships that I've made. And I can only imagine how many more people I can reach and how many more friendships I can make. Um, but yeah, I think if I could do YouTube forever, that would be, that would be legit. Um, I'm going to tell you these next three questions came from the same person and I'm going to tell you who it is. Uh, my girl, Rosa, she thinks she's slick, but she said, can I have that sweet baby boy? Um, absolutely. Anytime you want to come and get buddy, come get him. Um, she came when she came to visit not too long ago, they bonded and, um, I was begging her then. I was like, do you want to take him with you? And she's like, no, <laughs> but now she wants him. She can, she can come visit. Girl, you can come take them anytime you need to, but uh, you got to bring them back. Like, I don't think I could go, you know, very long. I know I complain about them a lot, but I couldn't go very long without them. That little sweet face, I just couldn't. Um, and then she said, with your next child, can you name her after me? Yeah, of course. It'll be an imaginary child, but I'll name her Rosa. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know when that happens. And then she said, can I be the flower girl in your wedding? Of course. If I have a wedding, I'm down. You can be the flower girl. Totally. I have thought about that, um, honestly. And uh, I, Rude and I briefly talked about it the other night. And by briefly, I mean literally for like 20 seconds. Somebody was talking about a destination wedding. And um, I was like, you, you know what? We should have a destination wedding. And he just looked at me and I was like, just downtown to the courthouse. Let's. That's the destination. Can we just go ahead and do it already? And he just laughed. I don't think he thought that I was serious, but I'm, I'm dead serious. I just want to do it already. Have you ever gotten to the, like, I just want to do it. I just want to do it. I don't, I think we've talked about it before too. He and I have both been married. We've both had the, you know, the weddings and all that stuff. There's no point. There's no point in us spending that money. We could put that elsewhere, like in new floors, a new refrigerator, a new house, a trip, something like that. I'm totally down for that. I don't need a whole wedding. Um, I just, I don't know. I want to get married. I don't, don't ask me why. I just do. Um, and then she asked me, what about Ikea gets you so excited? I don't know, girl. Okay, so Rosa and I are actually planning a weekend um, trip together here coming up soon. And where we are going, there's an Ikea like 10 minutes down the road. And I was like, um, that's where I'll be. If you want to go with me, I'll be at Ikea. I've heard so many great things. Anytime that somebody has a YouTube video about 
an Ikea haul or shop with me at Ikea, I'm, I'm like as glued to the screen. I don't know what it is about Ikea that intrigues me so much. It's just like bulk stuff, like bulk stuff for cheap. And I'm down for cheap bulk stuff, like stuff that I don't need. I'm going to come home with like 17, um, pairing knives and four cheese graters and 10, um, cutting boards and a, a shoehorn. I don't know why. I just want to buy all the things at Ikea. So I cannot, cannot wait until we go. Um, but yeah, those were all of Rose's questions and, um, I appreciate your, your efforts, girl. So another question that I got was what intrigues you so much about true crime? I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I've always been this way. I've always been, um, nosy. I think that's the main thing. I'm extremely nosy and stuff like that just doesn't bother me. Um, I think from the time, like when I was young, like really young, I've always wanted to be like a crime investigator, private detective type thing. And if you guys didn't already know, um, I think I've mentioned this quite a few times before, but if you're new and you, you've never watched those videos, I'm actually a certified phlebotomist. So like nothing phases me. I've had, I've been through the anatomy thing. I used to work in the hospital. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of things. I've been through a lot of things. It just intrigues me in a way that I cannot explain. And I'm afraid that when I say stuff like that, people are going to think I'm weird, but I'm not weird because I know there's other people out there that think the same way I do. Um, but yeah, true crime is just like, it's history. And I think that, well, not so much history, but it's like, um, you know, things that have, obviously it's, it's history, but things that have happened. And I think also the psychology part of it intrigues me. I don't know. I don't, I really don't know how to explain it, but I'm just into it. I really am. And, um, it doesn't freak me out or gross me out. Like, don't get me wrong. I have gone over some stories and some cases that I was like, Ooh, yikes. But a lot of times, like it just like, I don't think about it again. Like, Ruben says, how can you come home from work and immediately like listen to a podcast about somebody being, you know, murdered and things like that, or watch all this stuff on YouTube or on TV all the time and then just go to bed. I'm like, I just do. I don't know. He's like, don't you get nightmares? I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> nope, I sure don't. It's just, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's just something that I love. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you
So right now in the video, I am actually cleaning out this pantry that I have in the kitchen. And that is something on my list of things that I'm going to be doing very soon. I think I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to take the bottom drawer out of this. Well, not take it out, but I want to use that bottom drawer for my towels, like my kitchen towels. I recently kind of went under the sink and organized and took some things out. And I just don't have space for my hand towels and all the other drawers that I have, which are four, are already full. So I really needed somewhere to put all of that stuff. And that bottom drawer there is just honestly full of junk. And I need to go through it all and get rid of some things and put them kind of like in a different spot. Like that stuff just doesn't belong in there. And I wanted to be able to use that drawer for my hand towels. Um, also I've got some other things coming up that I'm wanting to work on, which is my bathroom. I've been talking about that bathroom for probably over a year now. I honestly just don't know what I want to do with it yet. I have some ideas, but I don't really know if I'm comfortable enough doing the things that I want to do. So we'll have to see if there's like some alternatives or things like that. I've been knocking around the ideas of just some wallpaper on the back wall and then just freshly painting everything else. I've also thought about doing some board and batten, but I'm not, I've never done that. Now that's not to say that I can't do it, but I don't trust myself yet <laughs> to really do something like that. But I've been looking at these, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like, um, they kind of look like board and batten. It's just like a whole bunch of slats and you can actually roll it up like it's, you know, mendable. Not, that's not a word. Bendable, malleable. You know what I'm talking about. So I think you can get those in sheets. And I'm thinking like if I could get that and then cut it to the height that I want it and then paint it, I can kind of use that as like a board and batten. I don't know. I'm just still knocking around ideas, but I have not forgotten about it. I promise that will be coming up. So as soon as I have my ideas together and I know exactly what it is that I want to do, that bathroom is going to be done ASAP Rocky. Um, also, now that I'm a pro in plumbing, I'm going to be switching out that bathroom faucet. Um, I don't really think that I can do the whole stand. No, it's not a stand. What is wrong with me? Um, the whole, you know, sink. I can't redo all that. I just, I can't do that. I don't, I'm really not in the space that I can do that, but I can, however, switch out the faucet. So maybe that will help kind of switch things up too. But yeah, I, I do have a lot of things going on in my brain and a lot of plans and a lot of things that I want to do here soon. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that button so you can come back and see all the stuff that I've got coming up. And it's also super exciting. I had Reuben looking at some new bedroom furniture. So we are one step closer to getting that bedroom updated as well.
I really hope that you guys are keeping up with the little Halloween pictures throughout the video. If you thought that this was something fun, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up on this video. Also, don't forget to put your little numbers down in the comments after you watch the video of how many pictures you guys found. Don't cheat. Uh, just make sure that you put your number down that you saw, and um, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to see who all went ahead and gave their answers and who is going to win this $50 gift card. And if nobody gets it on the dot, I will try to have whoever came closest um, win that. And if there are multiple people that came close, I will reach out to you guys and see if you want to do another type of little game between all of you guys to get a winner, or I could just split it up with you guys. It doesn't matter. And mom, if you watch this video, no, you're not eligible to enter. I'm sorry. I love you, but no. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was something fun, uh, just something to give back and kind of, you know, switch things up a little bit. So I'm in this other little cabinet here that I have in the kitchen at the moment. And I've had so many people ask me where this came from and it came from Gabe's. I don't know if Gabe's is like a, a countrywide store. I don't know. I think I've only ever seen another one in West Virginia, but, um, Gabe's is kind of cool. It's kind of like a Ross. That's about the only way I can describe it. It's kind of like a Ross. They have different stuff every day that you go in there. You kind of have to hunt for things. Um, but you can get some really good deals and furniture is one of those deals. Now, sometimes they might go two months and not have one stick of furniture, but sometimes you go in there and they have an entire, wall covered with furniture but I was really lucky with this one I thought it was so pretty and exactly what I needed for this kitchen and I think I only paid like a hundred dollars for it so I was very impressed very pleased and very satisfied with this it has been the best thing that I've bought for this kitchen it is extremely sturdy and it holds everything that I need in here if I could have thrown in one more shelf that would have made it perfect but obviously I was not able to. Also, those little shorts right there that I got in that little shopping haul, they didn't fit. I took them back. Actually, they probably did fit, but I think Ruben said something like, are those your Daisy Dukes? And I said, hell no, I'm not wearing those. And they went directly back. So <laughs> I was not about to have that conversation again. So I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to wear those. But I do have to say that over this last summer, I was so much more comfortable with myself and my body. I wore shorts all the dang time. I never got hot. I was never uncomfortable. I just, I just did not care. I think I'm at that point in my life where I'm like, you know what? I really don't care. Um, it means more to me to be comfortable and not be sweating my you know what's off to just wear the shorts just wear the shorts just wear the bathing suit just wear the shirt just wear the dress it does not matter and I'm so glad that I have gotten to be a lot more comfortable with myself this year and to be able to do those things um yeah just don't take life for granted just do what you want to do do what makes you happy I'm always trying to tell other people that and then I'm the worst at actually doing it for myself 
but I'm finally starting to do that and I'm so much happier doing it. Um, but also talking about being happy and doing things for yourself, I wanted to talk about my youngest boy. Um, you guys have heard me talk about him. You've, you've seen him in a bunch of videos as well. So Brayden has gone on a trip and my mama heart has been all tied up in knots since the day he left. So he and his boyfriend, Doug, they ended up going to Utah and I know you're like Utah, what, what the hell's in Utah, but they ended up going to Zion National Park and they went camping and hiking and he sent me videos and pictures and it is the most absolutely stunningly beautiful place I have ever seen in my entire life and I'm just so glad that he's able to get out and do these things because I obviously was not able to do these things when I was his age. When I was his age, I already had two kids and that that was my life. Um, but they've been having so much fun. And after they leave there, they are going to Vegas, I think, and Mount Rushmore. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty positive that's what they're doing. And I told him before he left, I was like, okay, so can you like send me your itinerary, like your flight numbers and, you know, what days you're going to be where and things like that. Uh, because, you know, that's just, that's a mom thing. And also now I have found out that's an old person thing because he's like yeah no I'll send you my location I'm like I don't know what you mean what are you talking about and he's like here so he texts me his location he's like you can see where I'm at all the time I'm like well that doesn't make it any better um so what I've done over the last four days that he's been gone is I have stalked him on his location <laughs> I knew when they were driving I knew when they stopped at a rest stop I knew when they got back on the road it was um yeah, it's been awful. Brayden, if you see this, I'm sorry. But at least I haven't like bombarded him with phone calls and text messages. I've let him have a good time. I've just stayed up till like two o'clock in the morning just looking at the map and seeing where he was. I know hopefully I'm not the only one that does that. Um, that's not really something that I do. I don't hover over them. I've never been really like a helicopter mom. I just kind of let them, you know, figure things out on their own. Obviously, if it's unsafe, I'm there. But um, yeah, he's, he's having a great time and I cannot be more excited for him. So good luck, um, trying to let go of your kids because it is extremely, extremely hard. Wake up to PM. I don't know where we are. Looks like a cheap motel with our clothes on the floor. I don't know how we ended.
So I'm really wondering if you guys have been enjoying this type of video. This is much more talking than I'm used to in a video. And I'll be honest, it's been kind of hard, but I've enjoyed it. I like to be able to sit and talk about things, um, you know, things that aren't just about cleaning or toilets or laundry or vacuuming or things like that. I've had a lot of fun. So if you guys have enjoyed it, definitely let me know. Also, if you guys are new, if this is the first time you've been here and if you feel comfortable, let me know in the comments. That way I can come and say hi. Of course, everybody that has returned, thank you so much. Your support means so very much to me and I cannot tell you how grateful I am. I'm just going to tell you that like probably every single video that I do because honestly, I'm super duper super, super duper grateful. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about Bodhi, I have been noticing lately. I, now I've had labs, like I know how they work. Usually, um, usually by the, about the third or fourth year, they start to kind of calm down a little bit and Bodhi hasn't hit that mark yet. And I'm like, dude, where's your chill button? Like I need it. I need to know where that chill button is at. But he has started to kind of wind down a little bit and um, mature, I guess. Like he, don't get me wrong, he still has his crackhead moments. But he has started to wind down just a little bit. And um, I love it. It is so, he's just like literally the most squishiest, lovable person ever. Well, he's not a person, he's a dog. But usually like first thing in the mornings or at night when we're going to bed. Oh, I love it. He is just the most kissable little pup. Now, during the daytime, when he's like full on energy, you cannot, he doesn't like to cuddle. You can't like sit and hold him. He's just full wired 24 seven, go, 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 go. But when it's, you know, morning time or at night, he's a cuddle bug. I think I have posted a couple times on my Instagram where I'm sitting there wiping his face in the morning while I'm getting ready for work. He literally will just sit and stare at me. And let me just wipe his face, clean his ears. We have our little talks and things like that. And I just, oh, I absolutely love that. And in the evenings, usually when he's on his bed and I'm getting ready to go to bed, he knows that we're going to bed. And I think he honestly gets sad. So I'll go over and I'll lay down and I'll kiss his ears and I'll kiss his face. And we'll, you know, I'll give him a good little scratch session and rubs and stuff like that. And he'll just lay there and not move. And I'm sitting there thinking... These are the times that you need to take advantage of and like cut his toenails because he freaks out. He's not going to let me do it. Now, if he goes to the vet or if he goes to the groomer, he'll let them do anything and doesn't give them trouble at all. But if I try to do it, nope. He's like, no, he gives me the worst time. So I think the next time that I have him like that, I'm going to try to do his nails. I'll let you know how that turns out. But this is um, also all the things that I get out of my carpet because of Bodhi. So that's another one of the main reasons why I really want to get some uh, hardwood floors or, you know, tile floors because shooey, it's like, it's like three dogs in one with all of this fur. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day.
things on the couch No, I'm not the same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day 24-7 Yeah, every day I will come running, babe Flashlight, the blanket, and the man. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while. I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a bar in the tent, it's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left get in trouble again That stuff got nothing on you, that one's brand new Still it's got nothing on you tonight I don't need to go over all Useless words What you said, what I said That might have made it worse We're here again At the same spot where we kissed The first time I swear my pain is far away Long gone by now We've got a bar in the tent It's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left Get in trouble Stars got nothing on you. That one's brand new. Still, it's got nothing on you tonight. We've got a fire in the tent. It's 5:30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left getting trouble.
So I tried to give you guys just a little bit of a break with my voice there and threw in a couple songs back to back. I know that um, I ask you guys like what you guys would like to see or hear or have me do and I know not everybody has the same answers or would like to see the same thing. So if you enjoy these marathon videos, definitely let me know. I don't mind a bit to keep doing them. I honestly thought that this was fun. Um, but there might be some people that would prefer to have more music than talking and I'm down with that too. Just let me know. Um, I really do appreciate you guys when you give me tips or suggestions or things like that. Um, also, there's somebody outside my window, like a neighbor that's decided to mow their grass right now. So if you hear that, I apologize. Uh, that's another reason why I would love to just move out to the country. That way there's nobody else around me and I can control everything that's going on um, noise-wise. We've been having so many issues. We actually have a house across the street that was just built like two years ago and the people moved and they actually ended up turning it into uh, an Airbnb. So there's like different people here every week and it's just I don't know it just feels weird because you never know who's going to be here then we had another set of people set of people a well, family I guess you could call them uh, move into the house like directly beside them which is directly across from us and it was just like we saw them move in we saw them come with the realtor and look at the house and it was just one couple it was a younger couple and I think they had a small child maybe like a year or two old and we were like, okay, that's not going to be too bad. You know what I'm saying? So literally like within the first week or two, like they've moved in like four of their friends and everybody has a car and none of them want to park in their driveway or in their garage. So they all park on the street, which is fine. It's a public street, but they park on my side of the street, <laughs> which, which again, it's not my street. It's public property, but they all park in front of my house. Like that's where I park. I just don't get it. And Ruben's like, well, I don't know why you get mad. I'm like, well, because you don't park up here. That's why it doesn't matter to you. He parks in our back driveway. And I can't, like, I could park back there in our back driveway, but it's Ruben's back there, his mom's back there. And it would just be hard for all of us, you know, like with the hours that we leave and come home and things like that, it would just be a wreck. So I park up top, like on the street. And I'm like, well, of course, it's not a problem for you because you don't have to deal with it. So I don't know. Hopefully one day soon we'll have a house of our own and I don't have to worry about that either. And I know that kind of makes me sound bad, but I really don't care. You guys know that from the beginning, I have always spoke my heart, spoke my true self, and that's never going to change. It, it's just, that's just how I am. That's how I was raised and that's just how I talk. I'm sorry. But I do have a couple more of the Instagram questions that I wanted to answer. And one of them was, what is my favorite TV series? And I know this is going to come as a complete and total shocker to you guys. But anything on the ID channel or Discovery channel that has anything to do about true crime. <laughs> that's that's what I watch. Um, like Fear Thy Neighbor. That's one of my favorites. Also, anything documentary wise. Now, documentaries I'll watch like true crime or anything history like music of course that's like hands down another one of my favorite documentaries to watch um anything that's going to tell me something true like I like true stuff like documentaries true crime things like that um that those are my favorite that's just what interests me and that's what I you're always going to catch me watching if I'm watching anything now I do like you know other movies and other tv shows and stuff like that sometimes I will because you know I do a lot of um reading or things like that for the podcast and that's all true crime related so sometimes I feel like I need to give myself a break from watching or reading anything like that and nine times out of ten it's going to be anything comedy I love 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 old tv shows like we used to have in the other city that I lived in we used to have a channel and it was just dedicated to old tv shows like um what was the name of it what was the whammy thing? Pressure luck? Like, oh my gosh, I love stuff like that. And to tell the truth, I mean, I honestly think that came out in the 60s. I absolutely love it. Just anything old like that, I just love to watch. I love to see that's, I love it. But I can't, it's so hard for me to find now because you have to like have those paid channels. And I don't know if you, if you remember or not, but we just got rid of our cable not too long ago and we got, it's called Glow Fiber and it's basically just, you know, internet TV and then you can get whatever you want. So we basically already have 
like the Netflix, Hulu, Vudu, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, stuff like that. So we already had all that. So we basically just stream and watch that stuff. And then I ended up getting Sling TV, which is nice because it has a lot of live channels. That way we could watch like the news and some sports games and stuff like that. And that's been pretty cool. I've not had an issue with it. And to be honest with you, my internet has never worked better. Like my, my YouTube channel, not my YouTube channel, my videos will upload so much faster. And it's amazing. Like sometimes I would have to sit for hours. Like I used to, like in the beginning, it would be like overnight I would have to wait for videos to upload. Now, when I click the button to upload it, like before I could even get back to the other screen to start doing my description and things like that, it's already uploaded. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. So if you guys have, you know, thought about doing away with cable and doing something like that, highly suggest it. Holly, Holly, Holly. Um, the other question was, how and when did you start your channel? Um, this is horrible to say, but I don't remember exactly when. I want to say it was 2017, maybe like in November, maybe 18, 2018. I'm not sure. Um, and I think I've talked about this again too, but my over half of my life, it had to do with my kids and, you know, homework and sports and things like that. So after both of my boys were grown and they had moved out of the house and all I was doing was, you know, getting up and going to work every day. They were pretty much, you know, on their own, taking care of themselves. And I didn't have all of that stuff to do. I was like, huh, what am I going to do now? I was just like almost bored. And I did watch like a ton of beauty channels like Manny MUA, Desi Perkins, you know, all of those, the greats. And I was always, you know, watching YouTube because I had nothing else to do. And I came across a cleaning video and I was just intrigued, you know, again, here comes the nosiness about myself, like seeing other people's houses and what they do and things like that. And I was like, well, I already cleaned my house. Like I already do that. I bet I could do something similar. And that's just when it started. So I actually started doing my channel with some cleaning and like Ray Dunn stuff yikes, redone. Um, I'm so glad that that part of my life is over. <laughs> but at the time it was very popular and I was like, I'm jumping on this train. And, um, yeah, I met a lot of really amazing people through that as well. Um, through the whole redone thing. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I started it. And it's just gotten into cleaning. Like that's just, that's just what I do. Like I do more cleaning than anything else. So I couldn't imagine another niche that I could do. Um, but I do like doing the vlog channel because it's more of myself and it's things that I can like go back again and watch and keep as memories like trips or Christmas or birthdays and things like that. So I just think it's fun. And again, I'm just nosy and I like to see what everybody else does. And I feel like there's more people out there like me. <laughs> so that's just a shameless plug for you to go and subscribe to my vlog channel if you haven't already. been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool oh man i think i might be going crazy cause all i really really want is to be with you and i'm like i'm saying we're just friends but thinking you're my man and baby, if you knew Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm doing just fine But I'm scattered, scattered And I cry when you're not around Because it matters, matters Dreaming of your kisses In the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing But I feel like Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm fine But I'm scattered, we're just friends Just friends Just
are coming down to about the end of this video and I want to say thank you so much if you watch this entire video or let it play while you were cleaning or doing other things I just want to say thank you I just love y'all so much um, but I have other things like I've got so much stuff to do this evening and it's already kind of late we are having a dinner for my oldest son's birthday Logan he will be 25 um, in a couple of weeks and he has to work he often works like you know 12 hour shifts two weeks in a row and he rarely ever gets a day off so this was the only day he would be able to have off so we are all going to meet and get together and have dinner just to celebrate him I can't believe it y'all he's gonna be 25 it just whew, that makes me feel so stinking old I swear I wish that they could just be little babies again and I could just keep them like in that toddler stage, they were so much fun. They were so cute. They were literally like twins. They're only 13 months apart. They rarely ever fought. They still are the same way. They always have a good time when they're together. I love it. Even now that they're older, like when Braden comes home to visit and they're able to get together and see each other, just to hear them laughing is like the sweetest sound to my soul. Like it just makes me feel like I've done something right. You know what I mean? Like, they're just the best things ever. I just, ugh, I love them so much. Um, but yeah, we have that dinner to go to. And then as soon as I get home, I need to call my girl Rosa. We have a podcast to record. And then I've got to, you know, go to bed and get up, go to work, do it all over again. We've got a busy week at work. Actually, my plant manager is on vacation. He and his wife went to the Canary Islands. I'm so stinking jealous but they were actually going to take like a couple more days after they got back and stop like in Germany and things like that I just want to I just want to do that like forever I just want to go travel see all the things all the places and I was someone he was leaving last week I was like oh have a great trip be safe you know have fun we got this don't worry about it you know it'll all be here when you get back and I was like bring me back something cool and he was like I probably won't but okay <laughs> he was kidding of course but um I said, to be honest with you, you could bring me back a rock from the parking lot before you walk back in the store when you come back from vacation and be like, hey, Mandy, I brought you this from the Canary Islands. And I would have it and I would treasure it. And I would be like, oh my gosh, this rock came all the way here to me and it's mine. And I would have not known the difference and I would still love it so very much that like that's how much I love the things that people give to me. I think that's why I'm kind of like a closet hoarder. I just can't get rid of things. And um, I'm just weird that way. Like if I were to have a rock, let's just say he brought me a rock back from one of these, you know, far, far, far away lands. I would just look at it and be like, I wonder if a kid picked you up and skipped you down the street. Or I wonder if, um, I don't know, a squirrel carried you around thinking you were a walnut. I don't know what I would think. I'm just weird that way. But Maybe he'll bring me back a rock. I don't know. Fingers crossed he will. And I'm also starting to realize that the more I talk in this video, the weirder that I sound. I promise you guys I'm not as weird as it sounds. I'm a little bit weird, but I'm not like overly weird. Um, but I just want to say thank you so very much. You guys have my heart and I could not do this without all of your support. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming and watching today's video. I hope it gave you some motivation. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope you found out some things about me that you never knew. Don't forget about the giveaway and make sure that you put your answers down in the comment section. I can't wait to see who wins this and I can't wait to see all of your answers, but I'm going to go ahead and go. I've got a bunch of stuff to do. Thank you again for being here today. I will catch you on the next one. I love you and I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Where my heart is.